All day long, people have been leaving flowers and balloons here at the scene and just outside of Victoria's home. The Dakota High School student had just left her house this morning to go to school when the tragedy happened. It's very heart wrenching to watch somebody that you watched grow up just disappear. I mean, I know you're going to have her in your heart and you're going to have her in her memories, but she's not going to be in that room anymore. Scott Goodhue is best friends with Victoria Cartwright's parents. He's known her since she was born and remembers the 14-year-old as a kind and caring girl. She was always thinking about her parents, her, her baby brother, her, her um, grandparents, she, and her friends. If somebody, like I said, if somebody was down, she wanted to help pick that person up. Victoria's mom told us off camera that she heard sirens this morning. When she went outside, she saw her daughter had been hit. It happened before sunrise around 7 a.m. here on Heidenreich between 21 and 22 mile roads. Investigators say Victoria was hit by this Jeep Wrangler driven by a 16 year old fellow student. That driver and another teen were also on their way to Dakota High School. Even in the midst of her unimaginable grief, Victoria's mom told us she's also thinking of both of those girls. They've got to be going through a hard time right now. She either walked in front or they didn't see her enough time to hit the brakes. There is no pedestrian crosswalk at the scene. The sheriff says there is a traffic light with the crossing farther down the road past the entrance to the high school. I have two children of my own and I could never imagine losing them. Love your children, hug them every day and tell them that you love them. The sheriff's office says that they are still investigating what happened. Meanwhile, the district says that they will have counselors on hand as long as they're needed. In Macomb Township, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.